Hey guys, I'm Jackie and this is Leo, my little eight month monster. And we're doing some yoga today. So I'm gonna try to incorporate him as much as possible, but I also have some toys as distractions when he gets to be over it. So let's get started on our backs. You and your family, whether that's human babies or fur babies, or maybe just yourself, Get comfortable on your back. We might not be able to be here for long, but just settle in, close your eyes, take a big breath in, and then a breath out. Two more just like that, big breath in. Breathe it out. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. All right, we're moving into happy baby. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Bend your knees, bring them close to your armpits, and then grab through the pinky toe sides of your feet. Act like you're pressing your feet on the sky, and then you can rock a little side to side, or just stay still. Two more breaths here. <laughs> All right, slowly release. Bring your knees over to the left, hips to the right, taking a little C spine twist. Uh, just whatever feels good in your back. Oh my gosh. You can slide your left knee underneath your right if that feels better. One more big breath in. Breath out. All right, move to the other side. Knees over to the right, hips to the left. And again, if you need more support, slide that right knee underneath the left. Whew. Maybe wipe all the slobber off your face. Okay. One more big breath in. Breathe out. Come back to center. And then we'll come into a cross-legged seat. Maybe bring little human or fur baby with you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lay Leo down on his back. We'll see how long that lasts. Give him a passy kitty tilt with him. And then inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold over. Keep your hips, your glutes rooting down. Excuse me, Captain. And then stretch your fingers forward, get some length in your spine. And you've got a little baby belly in front of you, maybe give him a little raspberry. <laughs> All right, then slowly come back up. And we're gonna come into a tabletop pose. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and then we're gonna take a couple cat cows. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone high. Exhale, curl around, chin to chest, belly to spine. Inhale, belly drops, heart turns forward. Exhale, curl and round. Take a few rounds of these at your own pace. You can add anything organic, maybe shifting forward and back, or side to side. Maybe bend your elbows, give a little kiss. Maybe take full body circles. Make sure you switch directions. Moving into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, down dog. And if you'd like to have really bent knees here, go for it. Find lots of length in your spine. And then maybe begin to straighten out your legs just a little more. They do not have to be perfectly straight. All right, so we're gonna roll breath to movement, high plank to down dog. 
as you inhale, roll forward, high plank, round your upper back, fire up your muscles. Exhale, bend your knees, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Take a few rounds of these at your own pace. Add anything else in between. Just a few rounds of breath. Maybe a little push up. Woo. All right, pausing in our high plank. Couple modifications. You can stay right here. Or I guess one modification that I'm gonna offer. You can lower your knees down or keep them lifted. Hi, baby. Hi. Might need to throw in a little distraction time to time. If your knees are down, move your right foot over to the right. Step your left foot back for a modified side plank. If your knees are up, roll onto that pinky toe side of your right foot. Left foot can be in front of your right foot. You can stack it on top or maybe lift your leg up. Whew. Wherever you are, firm your core up. Squeeze your glutes. Press your hips forward. Option to look up or look down. One more breath in. Exhale. Plank pose. Other side, left palm down, right arm reaches up. Maybe that left knee is down. Maybe your right foot is in front of your left or you're stacking. Option to lift that foot up. Keep breathing. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi. We've got one more breath here. One more breath in. Exhale, high plank. Lower your knees down. Child's pose. And take a few rounds of breath here, or maybe fix your ponytail, or give your little one some loving. Hi, Bubba. Hi, 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 hi. Moving into a forward fold, step your feet up, bend your knees a bit, and allow your head to hang, kind of shake it yes, shake it no. And just kind of let your upper body melt down towards the ground. A little sway side to side. And then we're moving into Tadasana with or without baby. I'm going to grab the Leo. You want to come with me? Yay! Up. Inhale. Upward salute, mountain. Exhale. Hands come down at heart for baby at your heart. Just take a couple breaths here. Find your weight distribution equal in your feet, rocking side to side or forward and back. All right, we're going to move into some calf raises. I know it's not super yogi, but I um, figured we'd just add that in here. So holding baby if you want. As you inhale, lift your heels high, soft, bend in your knees. Exhale, lower them down slowly. Option to lift your toes. Let's take it really slow. Few rounds of breath. Just move with your breath. Inhaling to lift the heels as high as you can. Exhale, lower them all the way down. If you want to move faster, go for it. If you want to move even slower, be my guest. Three more breaths wherever you are. Maybe feeling that burn, ooh yeah. Last breath, inhale, exhale. All right, we're gonna step that left foot back to a high lunge. If this is too unstable with the back heel lifted, you can come into kind of a warrior position. Adjust your baby if you've got one in your arms. And then try to pull that right hip back, left hip rolls forward. 
Engage your core and then lift up just an inch taller. Maybe a centimeter. Maybe a millimeter. All right, lift your back heel if it's not already. Straighten both legs. Pivot on the ball of your left foot and then come into a star variation. So if you have a baby, keep them in front of you. Or if you have your hands free, reach both arms out for a star pose. Woo! Okay, wiggle those hips a little side to side. Just get some movement going. And then moving into goddess squats. Sink your hips down low. Knees move out towards your pinky toes. All right, a few options with baby here. Yay! We all love this one most of the time. So you can just stay squatting, or if you want, breath to movement. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Or if you want, as you lower, press your baby down, or lower your baby down. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, lift up. Woo! Exhale, lower. Sorry, Captain. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale, up. Woo! Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Last one. You got it. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. If you are tired, please do not lift your baby up if you fear dropping them. So we're done. That was enough. Slowly pivot back to that warrior one or high crescent lunge. Back heel lifted or lowered down. <sighs> Take a breath here. Bend your back leg. Exhale, step forward, mountain pose. Option to lift up. Inhale, arms reach high. Baby reaches high. <laughs> Exhale, baby to heart. Switching legs. Step your left foot back. Sorry, right foot back. High press and lunge. Or if you need some stability, seal your back heel down. Widen the distance between your feet. All right, power up here. Drive that back leg up towards the sky. Pull your left hip back. Roll your right hip forward. Knit your ribs in together and find just a little bit more length in your spine. Beautiful, y'all. All right, lift your back heel if it's not already. Straighten both legs. Pivot on the ball of your right foot. Come into that star variation. Wiggle out your hips. All right, goddess squats. Last time. Lower down. Lift back up, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep this going at your own pace. Add the arms if you want. Or you can even add twists if you're feeling it. Baby to the left. Baby to the right. 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 Last one. Inhale up. Exhale squat. Slowly come back up. Straighten your legs. Pivot back to that warrior one or high crescent. One breath in, bend your back leg, step up, exhale. All right, move those feet wide apart. Coming into Malasana or Yogi Squat. So toes out, heels in, baby in the middle if you want, and slowly lower down. You can slide a block or a pillow or something underneath, um, underneath your glutes. Maybe give baby a little toy. And you can bring your palms together at your heart if you'd like. Take it really slow to inhale and rise all the way up. Straighten your legs, arms reach up, inhale. Exhale forward, fold feet parallel. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Moving into boat pose. Normally I'll put Leo up on my thighs, but I think he, he looks pretty happy right now, so 
I'll let him be. <laughs> so rock back onto your glutes, grab the back of your legs to start, and then open up your chest. Fire up your core and rock back. Find this balance here, and maybe bring your shins parallel to the mat. Try to get your baby away from any outlets. <laughs> And breathe. Calm inhales. Calm exhales. You got this. Keep it going. Option to release your hands if you'd like to add more. But keep your chest open, shoulders drawn down your back. Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Breath out. Last one, breathe in, breathe out, and slowly lower your feet down, come into a cross-legged position, and we'll close out in a meditation. So in a comfortable seat, release your hands down, the captain finally is resting as well, so let's all try to rest, Leo can keep climbing safely. And sit up really tall. Think of opening up through your collarbones and drawing your shoulder heads down away from your ears. Giving yourself, or growing yourself just a little taller through the crown of your head, allowing just a little bit more space in your belly and in your chest uh, to breathe deeper, more mindful breaths. Maybe a little wiggle of your toes here to let go of any extra tension. Feel free to open your eyes at any time if you need to check on anyone. But as much as you possibly can, I know it's very chaotic right now, inside the house as well as outside the house. So even taking a few breaths to recalibrate, to come back home to ourselves and reconnect with, with this moment is extremely beneficial. So. Stay here as long as you want, breathing, especially if you have um, kiddos or maybe a partner or friend um, that's able to take this time to work on ourselves or connect with ourselves, but also connect with others. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know if you need anything or have any requests, questions, comments, concerns. Give me a shout. Thank you and namaste.